Hello Cancer, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to the channel. Now this is a general reading, it might not resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave the rest alone. Uh, go to the channel, uh, I have playlists on my channel for the month of November. They might resonate, the messages there might resonate better or you might want to look at your moon and rising signs. We have the chariot here. Fast forward movement here. And it's Archangel Metatron, an improved, um, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. So you're going to move towards achieving something here. It's self-discipline and willpower. It's about doing what you needed to move forward here. If you do what you need to do, what's advised, then you will see fast movement. There'll be progress. Enlightenment. Now, this is about learning. You could be gathering information. Somebody could be telling you something. You could be gaining knowledge. Uh, it's about your your growth here. You're growing in that sense. It could be spiritually. It could be through knowledge. Quest. And this is about your journey, your life's purpose here, what you're on this material earth to achieve here. So it's about achieving certain things. If you're on a path towards achieving goals here, um, there's going to be fast movement coming in because you're going to start to see the way forward. Now we'll see what the tarot is saying, which suggests here what the guidance is to achieve this movement forward. There's also public recognition as well. So, the Seven of Wands. The Four of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the beautiful Six of Cups. The overall central energy is the Four of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Nine of uh, Wands here. So the Nine of Wands is about challenges you're going through. So it could be your challenges you're having along your life's path here. This is all challenges that you, it's karmic lessons that you're learning. And what Spirit's here to remind you is that everything you're going through is designed to gain enlightenment, to, to help you understand about yourself and your life's journey. Now, these are challenges you've all survived up till now. We feel like you're going through one thing after another, Cancer. But what they're saying is don't give up before the miracle because you're nearly at the 10. This is meant to be part of your life's journey. It's part of your learning process, whatever this may be for you. It could be in any area of your life. It could be your work life, your environment, your relationships are within your finances. So whatever this is, it's challenging times, but you're learning and you're going to be able to bring this to an end very soon. And what Spirit is suggesting, the overall energy here is to reflect on all the knowledge that you've gained through this experience. Now, you might feel as if you're stuck going through challenges and you're not getting to the end of this journey or process, whatever it is you're trying to achieve here. So it's like being in limbo. You think you're never, things are never going to come to fruition. What Spirit's doing is they hold us in this energy. We want us to learn things. We want us to gain enlightenment. So there's knowledge to be gained. Sometimes you see a bulb, a, a, a light round his head. It's like a light bulb moment. You'll suddenly realise how you want to go forward. But you're definitely going to benefit. If you want fast movement forward and you want to achieve things, Spirit's saying here it's time that you take time out to review things. That will help you because you're going to have to weigh things up to bring better balance in so that you can go towards achieving what it is that you're wanting here. There'll be fast movement forward when you make this decision because choose our choices. So we want to be reviewing things. We want to be looking at the path we've went down. We want to be taking time out. You might even want to take time out away from your challenges and pamper yourself for a bit. Take a break from them. Uh, because th this can be a type of healing and recovery energy as well that's going to help you gain enlightenment uh, and how you're going to go about making these choices. Now, we're always connecting in with our intuition. That goes without saying. So a gut feeling, connect in with yourself. Review your battles you've been through. You're at a certain stage here now. And it's about... If it's not recovering from an illness or taking time out for yourself away from challenges, this can also be about deciding how you're going to go forward. But please use the knowledge you've gained. Like I say, these are karmic lessons you've been through. You've grown. You've gained enlightenment here, most definitely, as you went along your life's path. And it's now time to weigh things up and make a judgment call. Now, this 
is going to bring better balance to the situation. It's help you, going to help you move forward. So this could be a head over heels decision that you're making. And I did say sometimes there's light bulb around his head. So if you connect in with yourself and reflect on things, you will find the way forward. You will decide, you'll be able to decide here which way you want to go. Now, this is, it could be in any area of your life, like I say, your finances, your relationships, your environments, or uh, in your workplace, wherever these challenges are taking place. Now, once we review things, it's about getting into a better balance and it's about being patient to nurture things here because that will help. When we're prepared to have patience with whatever we're trying to achieve here uh, and put the work in, it's like nurturing a plant. There's a certain amount of patience being needed. You will start to move, see movement and growth will come in and there will be important achievements. Now, it does say here self-discipline and willpower, and that's what this is about as well, this patience card. It's about having the discipline to put the work in. Uh, to, to wait for the growth coming. And if you're prepared to do that, what will happen is you will be able to take on any challenges that come forward. You're in a, you've got the upper hand, you've done your, your reviewing, you've made your decisions here, you're prepared to be patient. You've got the upper hand here because you've brought the balance back. You've got the upper hand. You might have to defend yourself or stand your ground here, but it's about um, putting the work in, and having the upper hand, you're definitely in a greater position now that you've made this choice and brought this balance back into your life. And this will move you towards the Queen of Pentacles, which is somebody here who is very nurturing and caring. She's nurtured her pentacles here. She's been patient and she's watched things grow and she's created great home comforts around her. She's got good relationships within her home life and her environment. She's got a very stable financial situation here. She's very nurturing and caring. Now, you could be meeting somebody that comes into your uh, onto your path that is a pentacle energy here, Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy, who's going to help you bring this kind of stability into your life because we have got the marriage card here. This is a very nurturing, caring person that you could have a family with that could help bring the balance to your life. So if it's that that we're talking about here, for some people, it might be relationships that could end up in marriage. If it's not a relationship you're looking for, Weighing things up and making the, the, bring the be, be, bringing better balance in, beg your pardon, will move you towards this stability. And it's going to benefit you, your family, your soul tribe, if you don't have a family, whoever you consider your support network to be. So there's beautiful stability coming in for you or uh, for you personally, your family or within a relationship here. Now, what I'll do is I'll just take a couple of divine direction cards. So if you just persevere and have the patience to nurture your goals here, make the necessary adjustments that are needed here, Cancer, you'll definitely bring the stability in. So it's about having willpower and being self-disciplined. That's what this is, and working on your goals. Uh, and use the knowledge you've gained to help bring the balance in, and it'll help bring your challenges to an end. You've just got to keep going just that wee bit longer. Be patient. Time. The universe is helping you. Look for synchronous events around you. Now, this could be repeating numbers, repeating uh, songs on the radio, synchronicities where spirit is trying to connect in. Now, if there's any master numbers, please look them up because that's spirit trying to give you. That could be 22, 33, 44. They're trying to give you an extra message here. Ask. Ask. It's okay to ask for help. It's not a sign of weakness. Now, this could be asking spirit because we have to ask spirit to intervene. They don't do it on, uh, unless you invite them in. It could also be asking people, professional people for knowledge, or it could be taking advice or discussing something with somebody. It will help enlighten you. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.